current mood today is smaller hitch. It's wrapped up well. I'm gonna put this on the drill see if it's any better than the one that's on it. Just sort of waggling around. I'm in the Mini Merlot and it's got fuel in it. And for some reason, you can't see in the camera, but the sky's just gone really black and it's supposed to be dry today. And I was hoping that we could get some sewing done this afternoon. So I'm gonna go now and have a look how dry the field is and see. So they could be doing some damage. One, two, three, five, six maybe. Six hairs running around the sunflower maze. One, two, three, four, five. No, there's five. Oh no, there's another one there. Coming straight towards me. No, it's looking at me. It's a big one, that, isn't it? Bit of a funny coloured one. There's a load of young ones over there. Don't think the peewits are too happy about me walking across this field. I think the young ones though that have hatched because it was quite a while ago since we found that nest. I know the fox had it, but they look quite small, so I think they're just young ones. They're like, why is someone walking across our field? Chris on the way out with his baby, doing some spraying. Got a long way to go, so he's put it on the low loader. I think Danny went in front as well. That's the next door neighbours. So we had them clean the bottom of the ditch out the other day. Now the water level's dropped, you can see a bit better, so there's a little bit of a, a weir there that needs tidying up. And then going around that bend a bit more, you can see. You can see now that there's a drain comes in in that corner there. The water level's sort of halfway up it. If we clear that out there, bottom it out, then that should drop below that drain then. This was the hole with the pipe in that was silted up and not really flowing. Anyway, since we've cleaned the ditch now, that's now emptied that hole, which is good. So it means it's getting away somewhere and hopefully now it can get away. It should clean itself and the silt should wash out of it, I hope. Or if not, we'll have to jet it. But it's definitely better than it was a few weeks ago and we've still had a lot of rain, so that's pretty good. I love to see the hairs, but they pull that sunflower to bits again. Another one. Like I say, it's full of weed this year, the sunflowers. I'm going to try and spray it with something, see if it'll take it out. But it could, could check the flowers a bit put them back a little bit like it did last year when we did it but I'm gonna have to do some and it's just far too weedy I just brought some of the single size stone we've got up so that's got like really good drainage properties because there's no fines in it I'm gonna dig out that bit of stuff that's fell in there because it's kind of like washed in a bit find the pipe put that in on top and then it stone it nearly to the top the level off and Adam's just over there now just sawing out the bottom of that ditch a bit further Something tells me that's not supposed to be like that. Shade off. I'm in the field now spraying the sunflowers. I've obviously got a lot of this sort of wild oats here growing, so we're knocking them out with this spray now. And then I might then come back later on or in a couple of days when it's recovered slightly with another herbicide to knock out the, you can see down there, you can't really see on the camera very well, but basically sticky weed, so cleavers that are growing in it, but the chemical that can take that out can damage the sunflower, so it's, it's a bit of like, do we take the risk or, or not? I think I'm gonna have to though, because they will, like they're, they're totally out competing the sunflowers all stoned up now we brought a bit of stone out of the yard so the car park's done just need the weed to die and uh, some sun to come out and the sunflowers to get growing this field here you can hardly even see them up in it at all yet it's um it's just been so cold they probably went into colder soil in the original field because the original field we had that warm blast so we, that's when we drilled them and then it obviously we got all that cold weather again and that's when they were drilled and they've just not liked it at all it's just not been warm enough to get out of the ground so the rain obviously kills the soil as well, which hasn't been helping. But we're getting there. Got an oil leak on this pipe here, so it's weeping. So I'm just gonna put one of these joints in it for now. And then we can, when we've got more time, obviously undo all the cable ties and replace it. So it's just rubbed through just there. 
that's service for you. Chris is here now with a new auger. We, we think it's just a drive, snapped off the end of ours. So he's gonna take it out and probably just weld it on. Guy's here with this little nifty, nifty welder. That's quiet generator as well. Inverter make 300 amp, it's tiny. It's like not very big at all. And he's been building up inside here. We're climbing. So this was like a really bad wear point on it. And then some of these bits are totally worn away. So we cut some little tabs, steel, welded them on. And he's beefed it up now with hard facing wire. So that should stop a lot of the wear. And obviously some of this is wearing a bit as well. That's got like razor thin there. So we build it up. There should be a block, I think, on there. So should protect it, make it last a bit longer. We built round these as well because these were these are ninety pound each. No, because it was it was going wrong, so that's why they pumped it from that one to that one. <laughs> Just sprayed this now with glyphosate because we'd obviously got a few more weeds that had been growing in and different things. Sam's there now, we're going to work it up and loosen it up a bit because it's not a cover crop up here. Because it's not a cover crop over winter, it's been quite flat at this. So we're going to loosen it up because we've got some, it's, it's very uh, free drain in there. The top's quite capped, like the top sort of inch or so. Zoom back in. The top sort of inch or so is really capped because there's been no cover crop on it. So if we had a sunflower maze in this then, it'd all go mushy on the top. So we're gonna we're gonna work it up, and make it a bit more free draining over there. It's not something that we have, like doing, but we just we have to for this to get it right. Adam's over there now, just finishing up the ditch off. You can see behind the sprayer. Gareth's been today from Horse. He's changed the drawbar, so we've got a lot smaller drawbar on now. So hopefully it's not going to waggle around as much. And then we'll put a plastic bush to stop it flicking up as it goes up and down when it's folded in and out. So then, if Sam works this ground today, it dries off slightly overnight. Hopefully tomorrow, then we'll be able to, to drill it. We would have liked to perhaps dist it level, but the discs have only parts for the discs have only just come in. I don't know whether we'll get a chance in the morning to, to do it, or we'll just we'll just see how what the drill does it like straight into the um, the sumo, and if you will, and we'll try that. It's hard to see. There's a little chick there running round. It's quite a big one actually. It's not that little. But it's good because it means they've hatched out. So we've been looking for nests as we're on it working. Obviously, I'm on the sprayer, so I've got about 36 meters. Sam's going to go up and down every three. He'll be looking for nests. If he sees any, we'll have to go around them. But if they've all hatched out, it's good because they're all running around. But like I say, the last time we found the nest on this field, I put a little flag in and kept coming back to check it. And uh, the fox had had the eggs. This is where I dropped the single size stone this morning. So James has just put it in the trenches now. We prepared the pipe where it was dug through. He's just filling it up now. And then Sam's there just working his ground. This is something that I wanted to do sort of two or three weeks ago, but obviously someone moaned about it not raining and then it didn't stop. Here's Sam now loosening the ground. We were just opposite where we did the car park there. And then so we've got sunflowers there, sunflowers there. And then all this is going to be sunflowers. So there's going to be 40 acres of them in one block. Ground's working up quite nice, actually, quite crumbly. It wouldn't have done yesterday because obviously it was still drizzling. But we'll probably just roll this, I think, actually, in the morning and then just drill into it then. That'll probably be enough for levelling. So, have a closer look at the, the tractor now working. See the front legs now will drop in when he lets it down. They go into the ground, loosen it, the discs are then levelling it, and then the packer rollers packing it down, back down and making it firm. And I've just sprayed it so any of these grass weeds and different things that you can see coming up there now, they'll obviously die off as well because they've had a dose of spray. You probably can't see this because I didn't show you very closely this morning in the video, but can you see how all that sort of wild oat and grass is just like sat horizontal now, i.e. it's like bent over and not stood up. That's the spray starting to take effect already because I think it's a hormone one that I put on it before which can, can work straight away. So instead of it being sort of like stood right up pointing at the sky, it's now like, ugh, fell over. So that's pretty good, that's the result. It's just this stuff that it won't take out unless I go through with the real hot stuff which could then damage the sunflowers. I was talking to James Lacey this morning who grows a lot of sunflowers 
because to see how dear rock sorry what rate of dirt go with with the this chemical I'm going to put on them because I didn't want to kill them too much. I said how the herds have been eating them. He said herds don't normally eat them near him because they find them bitter. Well, that explains why they've bit the top off and the leaves have fell off and then just left it. So obviously the young herds thinking, oh, this looks juicy, biting into it, not liking the taste and spitting it back out. So hopefully they won't graze it. But there's definitely young herds in there running around like I saw this morning. Had an interesting parcel arrive in the post today. Some sweet corn seed. So thanks to Fajenta for that. I'm going to try and grow them again, see if they grow better this year, see if we get any better weather than we did last year when we grew them. Also had another parcel as well. It's kind of material like a flag, but it's not really a flag. It doesn't represent engineering excellence, so we can't really put it up. It's quite pretty though, like a flag. And also a packet of curly whirlies, so thanks to whoever sent them as well. Um, come in quite handy, the old curly whirlies, especially when you've not really had a lot of dinner. It's running a bit clearer now. He's managed to take a couple of foot of silt out the bottom. Just getting, you can't really see on the camera, can you? You don't get any depth, but yeah, there's that's about two foot there. It's running all right down there now. Just a few branches in the way here to trim off, and you can get into this last bit, get to the corner, and it's done. Just aimlessly driving around the field now, washing out after the um, roundup because obviously I don't want to kill off the wheat when I go onto it next. I hate washing sprayers out, it's boring, you just have to go up and down, spray basically what's clean water. But you've obviously got to get it right, because like I say, I don't want to do, do a block of 200 acres of wheat and kill it. So it's very important. Also, it's uh, Jack's birthday today. Jack, feel a vegan agri, it's his birthday, so happy birthday Jack, or feel alive agri, whichever you want to call it. There's James now with the trailer and the Merlot. He's just going to get some of the branches, Adam's got to cut out the way so we can get the bucket into the bottom of the ditch. There's Sam now. He's probably done about half the patch that we want to drill tomorrow. Andrew and Churry Picker Richard are at the other farm finishing off that, well, I'd say finishing off the brickwork and doing more of the brickwork. It'll take a while to do, it's a bit of a slow job because we're obviously using old bricks and they've got to be cleaned and made to fit because a lot of them are broken as well. Well, that's coming together quite nicely to be fair so the guy's been here all day doing all this hard facing now so if you look it's built up and it can't can't work it's got all this on it now it's done all around here we've got some of that ferrobite that we want to put on but he couldn't put it on with the wire that he had so we'll probably do that another time but that should now stop the machine wearing completely and give it all a bit more strength as well stop these wearing down so we can't get the nuts off pretty pleased with that this is today's quiz question. I think it's too easy, but it, Sam didn't think it was. Does anyone know what that is? Or what it's off? I think you know, leave a comment below. We think we've now finally got all the correct parts off Amazon to finish this off. So next wet day, we'll get this back together. Adam's been out with them before, leveling off where he cleaned the ditch out. He did it without the rollers, basically. Uh, should have got a video of it, see what it did, what kind of job it did. But I was too busy because they've been fixing the boiler. And the guys are finishing the welding off on the chipper as well that's about it for today thanks for everyone that's been watching thanks for everyone that commented yesterday a lot of people that watch with uh, friends not well with family or kids or partners or whatever a lot watch on their own so if you if you're a single lady and you're watching you could obviously uh, see the guys that said yesterday that they watch on their own and maybe you know could be like a dating site as well the comments on the uh, on these videos and if you want to watch another video click up here if you want to subscribe i think you click there or the other way around i'm not sure and i'll see you all tomorrow